Hi, I'm Oliver Tree. I've spent a lot of time around horses. I'm really familiar with horses. They feel comfortable around me. It's about the way the rider and the horse come together. So this is the world famous Hollywood sign. Uh, I've been riding here 10 years. This is the Hollywood Hill Ranch that I grew up coming to. Um, my grandparents used to own it before they lost it in a lawsuit. Howdy, my name is Randy. My nephew Oliver Tree, they call him the Horse Whisperer. He's uh, he wants to be some kind of pop star, movie star. I mean, glitz and glamour, that's why I got into the horse industry. There's nothing really more glamorous than Hollywood and this is the mecca of the horse world. Uh, a lot of horse riders will move out here. Uh, you've seen Seabiscuit, he's from Los Angeles. The horse from Gumby, the voice of that, he's from Los Angeles. His grandmother Susan passed away last September. And now he's gotta, <laughs> he's gotta move back to the ranch. Uh, make sure the watering hole is clean, clear water. Make sure the horses have their hay in there. This is the first horse I ever rode. Uh, Robert, or Robbie as I call him. He's older, he's about 10 years, which is pretty old for a horse. They live to about 10 or 15, a little bit less than a dog or cat. Oh, yeah, he gets like this. Um, gotta feed him proteins in the morning, high wheat, fibers. Sometimes he starts acting up if you don't really give him his proper breakfast. So. He hasn't eaten yet. I think what you'll find today is there's not a lot of people who have um, a joy for riding like myself that also have the ability to take it to that next level, just push it up a notch. Um, oh. Sorry, I guess skid by that shit. It happens every time. So when I was a kid, I grew up with one of these. Uh, most kids had a crib. I have one of these. My parents used to leave me alone for hours. I used to just sit on this thing, spin around, twirl my hat. I used to have a little lasso. Basically, as a child, you know, I didn't have friends, so I spent a lot of time with the horses. So these are mouse droppings or some type of bat guano, uh, I'm not really sure. Many have called me a horse whisperer. I wouldn't go that far myself, I wouldn't toot my own horn, but I will say I do have some form of a gift. Um, here, watch this. Ricky! Ricky! Uh, Ricky! That's Ricky, my favorite horse of the bunch. Uh, Ricky's three months old. Uh, he started out smaller than your average horse, and then he just started growing rapidly. And Ricky is now two times the size of any mare his age. Some of my stats. Um, the junior syndicate rider. Uh, I was semi-pro when I was 10. Um, I took the annual championship at 11, uh, became professional, and turned into the pro circuit at 13. Can't just run around with the family's money, going around having the time of life when I'm stuck with the burdens of family property, all the horses, all of the customers that keep coming back. And now I have to fill those shoes. And all of the tree does not want to help out at this farm. It is a serious problem. He needs a wake up call. Fast. 